there are ano kasi, three types of students. We have the auditory learners who can learn best when they hear things or someone discusses it to them verbally. There are also students who can learn best when they look at things uh, or merong mga charts, pictures, uh, videos na ipapakita sa kanila. And um, there are also students who are kinesthetic who learns best when they act it out. So, yun yung para sa concrete na part. Pero yung sa visual, it's more in pictures. And the, the last one, the pinaka-abstract, is the verbal. Yung words or sounds na lang yung ibibigay sa'yo. That's the, or text na lang ibibigay sa'yo. That's on the top of the Dale's Cone of Experience. So, as you can see, the Dale's Cone of Experience was arranged in the degree of abstraction. Again, degree of abstraction. Ibig sabihin, mula doon sa pinaka-concrete or pinaka-natouch na hawakan, na gawa, na perform, or nakita ng bata, hanggang sa doon sa abstract na hindi na talaga niya makita but representative na yung uh, words or sounds. Like, for example, uh, pag sinabi nating chicken, if higher level na yan, naiintindihan na ng bata, there's a perception already that this is the picture or this is the actual picture of a chicken. No longer na yung actual na chicken talaga na dadali ng teacher. So, kasi, kung, kasi pag sinabi natin concrete, ibig sabihin, dadali pa yun ng teacher yung manok. But pag sinabi na natin abstract na, no need na, it's because naintindihan na ng bata. Meaning, higher na yung understanding niya kasi hindi na kailangan yung actual picture. So, that's how Dale's Cone of Experience was. Yung sa baba, it's more on, more from demonstration to direct purposeful experiences, it's more on the motor skills na attitudes. More on na, uh, hands Pwede siyang fine or gross motor skills. Kasi nahahawakan na oh, it's more on ganyan, nahahawakan. Mag sinabi naman natin cognitive skill, ito yung mula sa um, feel, uh, demonstration hanggang papuntang motion pictures. Kasi parang ang gagawin ng bata doon is i-analyze 